Hi, I'm Sarah Lawyer, Associate Curator at The Broad in downtown Los Angeles, and today I'm going to talk about an artwork by David Hammonds called African American Flag. This is a great artwork because it takes on the huge, complex topic of what it means to be American by bringing into question America's main symbol, the flag. Hammonds has interrogated cultural symbols in his work since the 1960s, and this work from 1990 is a great example of that. In African American flag, Hammonds retains the stars and stripes pattern of the American flag, but instead of the red, white, and blue, this flag is red, green, and black, the colors of the Pan-African flag, a symbol of black resistance to oppression. By merging the design of the American flag with the Pan-African colors, David Hammonds' work captures what W.E.B. Du Bois describes as double consciousness of African American identity. Du Bois famously wrote about the concept at the turn of the 20th century in his book, The Souls of Black Folk. He described the feeling of two-ness of being both American and Black. Hammond's artwork captures this two-ness not only by changing the colors of the flag, but also through the title of the artwork. Hammond's often plays with language in his work. He's a bit of a linguist, and the titles of his works are always important. In this title, he adds one word to make a juxtaposition, African-American flag versus American flag. In doing so, the work asserts that the African-American is not represented by the American flag, and that the American represented in the American flag is a specific American, an American that needs no adjective, a white American. As an artist, Hammonds appropriated the flag long before 1990, as did many other artists in the 20th century, from Jasper Johns to Faith Ringgold. In 1970, Hammonds made a work that featured the flag called Black First, America Second, representing Du Bois' idea of double consciousness in two body prints, one looking comfortably wrapped in the flag like a blanket, and the other seemingly in anguish, imprisoned by its stripes. In another work from 1970 called Injustice Case, Hammonds represented the trial of Black Panther Party leader Bobby Seale, who was bound and gagged in court by order of the judge. The artwork depicts the scene in a life-size print, and it is framed with the fabric of an actual American flag, the middle cut out so only a rectangular border is left. By framing this horrific image with the flag and by titling the work in Justice Case, Hammonds again juxtaposes two concepts justice and injustice. The work declares the hypocrisy of this injustice taking place under the auspices of the flag. Cutting up the flag like Hammonds did in Injustice Case is an extreme action. In a nation built on the separation of church and state, the American flag is the closest thing to sacred. Its defacement is like blasphemy. Attempts to amend the Constitution to ban flag desecration date to the late 1960s, with regulations in many states' laws. In 1990, when Hammonds made African American flag, the flag's treatment was the subject of debate at the highest levels of government. The year before, Congress passed the Flag Protection Act, authorizing penalties for desecrating the flag. But in 1990, the Supreme Court ruled that the Flag Protection Act violated free speech rights. What makes African-American flags so great is that through the seemingly simple move of changing the colors and adding a single word, Hammond's work challenges us to confront the symbol of the flag, the ideals it's supposed to represent, and how far we are from achieving them.